conquer conquer yes you boy you are ten you are ten tenner than a all right I'm just joking here but conquer the the conquer's bad Friday is actually ten ten years old that's unbelievable that such a good game has been around I mean has been released in 10 years and it's it still holds up pretty well this is a revolutionary game I mean this is one of my favorite games but you did not start out this way of course Conker's Pocket Tales was released but they revamped the character and made him into this great game in such a little time but not many people not not nearly as uh, little people know about this as they used to well with well with the help of YouTube but uh um it's just uh not many people bought this game and I don't see why it's it it had limited advertising and stuff but still it's an incredible game and it's 10 years old I I still it's just this game is so great it's fan fucking tastic. Amazing game, but uh yeah, it's been 10 years since this game came out and uh, it's unbelievable. Let me just put the camera down and let me show you something. Yeah, I got the box and the precautions and stuff. Pretty nice. So the synopsis of this game is, it's been his 21st birthday, and he's out drunk, and it w and he's trying to find his way home. And here's Conker, he looks pretty good. There's Barry, his girlfriend, Birdie. Alright. The Fairy Panther King, Evil Teddies. The great Mighty Pooh, which is my favorite boss of all time. And, uh... Woo! <laughs> and, uh... So many other great features. But the multiplayer is what's awesome about the game. Not just the single player that is fantastic, but the multiplayer. You have racing, raptor, and all that shit. It's great. Ah, oh, look at that. Rare wear in the good days. No, they suck. I don't bloody believe it. They got the Xbox version of the of the game now. Ah, so fuckers again. Uh, well, let me show you. I mean, this game cartridge is just. I don't know how they did it. And yes, you can restart. You can skip this. You just have to restart the N64. This is going to be a two-part video because this game is just so incredible. I cannot explain how great this game is. This game was released on March 5th of 2001, which marks 10 years to this day. Unbelievable. Now, I did not cover the whole game, so I'll go through some of my favorite parts that you missed. Like, this, uh, uh, Barry's Mate. Now, the game has some rare features for the time. Like, the, like, the no distance fog in the N64, which is very rare. Um, it, when he's hovering above the water, you can see his reflection. All the lighting effects, all the voice acting, and, and the individually rendered faces and fingers. It's quite amazing that what these guys could fit onto the cartridge. And look, it looks so realistic, like an actual cog. Why is it everybody's so offensive right here? Uh, they bring me back me missing cups. Oh, you don't have to shout. <laughs> oh, 
Yes, I am. <laughs> Would you be prepared to do me a small favor? A little help, of course. And it's and very um, well yeah, rendered. Maybe. Sorry for this shitty ass quality. But it's just. Look at this. And he, and he goes on what they are called context sensitive pads, which are sensitive con to context or the surrounding of that area or for the character. Um, I mean, and here's another cutscene that you might like. Uh, what was it? So if you die, you meet Mr. Death. And he says, I hate cats. There's piss and shit all over the place. And their smell is the smell is just ugh. I still cannot believe all the lighting effects. It's just very rare for the time. So he hates he hates cats. He really hates them. And all the lighting effects are just amazing. I don't bloody believe it. I've got fish versions of the little bastards now. Come here. I'll show them. Dad, I'm recording. God! Now I have to stop. Oh, never mind. I'll just...